right into our second lesson. On our first lesson, we learned how to set up profiles for your users and then being able to only see their own information in the room profile, right? Uh, so let's get a little deeper with profiles. So, so now we will have users fill out their profile depending on which type of user they are. So assume that you have an app. So let's assume that you're creating an app that has doctors and patients or has uh, users and business profiles. So let's assume you're creating an app like Yelp where you have business profiles and you have, let's call it normal users or consumers. So for consumers, you don't require a lot of information from them, right? Probably just their email, maybe their, their name or their profile picture. But then for businesses, you require a lot more information. Uh, same thing for doctors and patients. For patients, maybe you require, uh, I don't know, their height, their weight, uh, their profile picture, their phone number. But then for doctors, you require a lot more information. Maybe their license, uh, their business address, whatever. So let's jump right in. So I'm still working on the same template or app that we used before for setting up our profiles. So if I go to my sheet, I still only have one tab, which is the profiles tab. Now what we will do is add more stuff, add more columns to this same tab. And we can do that either from Glide or from Google, Google Sheet. So I'm gonna open here my data editor. I'm looking at my profiles tab and then I am going to add a type of user, which will be a text column. Let's add another value, which will be phone number, which will be a number and precision is one. And then let's create a business address, which is a text component. Cool. Now we have created these three uh, extra columns. So let's add them here and then we'll come back to the data editor. So we want to add those columns here when the user is creating or editing the profile, right? So let's add those three components. So we have a text entry component, which is pointing to type of user. We have a text entry component for business address. And then we have a phone entry for phone number. So now all of our users, when they're setting up their profile, they can say they are doctor or patient, whatever. And then here, let's name it. So this is business address. And then we have phone. This one is type of user. Cool. Now, the challenge here is that the user type I don't want people editing or adding their own user, sorry, their own user type, right? Because maybe someone says they are a doctor, or maybe someone says they are an MD, and then we cannot filter or do anything with that information. So I want users to choose that they are either a user, a consumer, or a service provider. In this case. Let's make it again, doctors and patients, right? So instead of having the user and like typing in their type of user, because I don't want any mistakes at all, because then with that information, I'm, I'm gonna do a lot of other things, right? I am going to add a choice component. So I'm going to delete, so let me clear this. And then I'm going to delete this text entry component, which is pointing to the type of user and I will add a choice component. Now, remember the choice component will give you a choice, right? And those choices have to be somewhere in your sheet. 
So right now we don't have them anywhere. So let me jump in quickly back to my sheet and I will create a new tab which I'll name choices. I don't like having empty columns so I'm gonna delete this and delete growth. And then I'm gonna name this type. Actually, let's delete this. So it's either doctor or patient, right? So those are our choices or our users' choices, and they can use them. So and we can use those choices within our choice component when they are setting up their profile. So I go back to Glide and I refresh my sheet so that. I can bring up those values, right? So I go back here, I go to edit my user, and then I am back here at my choice component. It's down here, okay? So I want to tell Glide where is the source of those choices. I go to choice, so now I have two tabs, right? I have my profiles tab and I have a new choices tab that I just created. I click the choices tab, and right now, the only values I have in my choices tab is the first column that I created, which is named type. And then let's not touch the display as right now. And then where do I want to put that information? So the user that is creating their own profile, they will select either doctor or patient. So here's the source. And where do I want to put that information in their profiles row? So I want to put their information in the type of user column. And then here at the design, let's, I don't want any of this. And then let's make it segmented because it looks nicer. And then it's a require option. So they have to either select that they are a doctor or a patient. Now I go back and put this up here. So now when users are creating their profile, this user already added his name, his profile picture. And then he either is a doctor or a patient okay so if I choose patient here then I go to my data editor I see that this guy which is me is patient right if I go back to my layout view and change this value to doctor then here on type of user I have a doctor now what we want to do with this choice component is either hide or show extra components that we have under this one. So remember, if they're a patient, I don't want any, let's say I want their phone number, right? But if they're a doctor, I want their business address. And I don't want to show these two uh, extra components for my patients because then they'll get confused, they'll see a super long uh, setup form or profile setup and they don't want to fill it out. So I want to hide these components or show these components depending on the type of user I have, okay? So let's say I am a doctor. So here on my business entry component here, right? So I go back to my right and on my business entry component, I'm going to click on features. And then I am going to add a visibility condition for when I go to user. So this means that I am used, I am looking at that user's role. For when type of user is doctor. Okay. So look at this. If I delete this. So here in my phone, I have all the, the components that should show up. And I am filtering the visibility of the business address component and it will only show when my user when he selected his type of user which is this choice component that we have is doctor so now if I'm a patient oops, why is it not showing uh, my bad back here Features, no, this is fine, then business address. Oh, sorry, it's over here. So type of user, type of user, okay, here we go. 
type of user is doctor, right? So if I am a patient, I don't see my, I don't have to fill out my business address. That doesn't make any sense. If I am a doctor, then I am requiring that user fill out his business address. We can do the same thing for phone. So let's assume that we need phones for patients, but we don't need phones for doctors. So let's set up the visibility component for the visibility settings for the phone component. So I click phone here, I go to features, and I will add a visibility condition for when type of user, remember we are always going back to the either doctor or patient, type of user is patient. Now we have, if they are a doctor, they have to fill out their business address. If they are a patient, they have to fill out their phone. So in this case, I was a doctor, so my business address is this one, <coughs> right, and I'm done. And then if I am some other user, when I edit my profile, so I'm, this is like my personal profile, I am a patient, so I have to fill out my form, my phone. And then I click done. How does that look in my data editor? So the first row, this guy is a doctor. He doesn't have any phone because we hid that component, but he has a business address. In the next row, this user is a patient and we have his phone number. And then we can also add here a better welcome message for these users. So remember we have this welcome text. We went over this on our first video, right? So here in profiles, we have a template column that's bringing up their name into this text component. So let's add another feature to this same column. So hello name, you are a either let's say type and then we will add another replacement here that will point to the type of user column right so in this case hello jesus you are a doctor and then on the second row hello jesus you are a patient so now if we go back to our layout view, I am seeing that Jesus personally is a patient and my other email, so my other user is a doctor. So I hope uh, this works for you. Let me know in the comments or in the contact section of the app. Uh, this works for you so you can set up a better welcome flow for your users talk to you soon